I have thought long and hard about how I was going to do this video. I started editing clips. But that didn't work. I scoured through pictures and movies. Tried a combination of both. Didn't work either. Tried calling the news. That was obviously a failure as well. For now. Apparently, I'm as terrible as I really originally thought regarding iMovie. So, bear with me on this, but this is kind of important. Where I live, unless there's the news only cares if there's gang violence, if there's shootings, if there's stabbings, everything negative. I rarely ever, ever see something positive in the news. And even then, it's only for about five seconds, and then it's gone. They don't care. So it's been a real struggle trying to get this story out to my local news and news newscasts all over, because this isn't bad. This, this isn't gang related. This isn't a heroin overdose. This, this is something that could potential that has the potential for good, for actual good. But anyway, I'm here to tell you a story. And it's not the kind of story that you're used to. It's not all good. It's not all bad. There's ups, there's downs, there's in between. But it's still a good story. And the story is something that a lot of people can relate to. The story matters, and so do the people in it. So Once Upon a Time, Volume 1, there was a young, courageous woman who decided to join the Navy after six months post-graduation from high school. Can you imagine that? Graduation, you're 18 years old, and six months later, you decide to join the military. That's a pretty courageous woman right there. She wanted to see the world and travel while serving her country. And she did. She was stationed on the USS Enterprise for five years before getting stationed to the Newport, Rhode Island at Naval War College for three years. She did three deployments on the ship as a boatswain mate. At first, she felt really great about being in the military. She was more than happy to serve her country. And she did it with grace and she did it with poise. She did it courageously. Because I don't know many people out there who would. If they had the chance. The courageous young woman decided that after being deployed three times, she wanted to stay home. So, being the courageous warrior that she is, she decided to go back to school. Six months later, she got a job. And the Department of Def she was honorably discharged as a higher tenor. But unfortunately, like so many of the courageous warriors that defend our country, whether they be women or men, not all of her came back. Unfortunately, this courageous warrior is one of the many, many, many who come back suffering from the gruesome horror known as post-traumatic stress disorder.
this courageous young warrior woman has to put up and deal with the horrors every single day of her life. It is what she gets, or what she got, for being in the Navy. It is what she brought home with her. It is what she brought home with her after she fought so hard to keep our country free. On one of her deployments, she was faced with a life or death situation involving a hijacking. Shots were fired, people died. Our courageous warrior managed to make it out alive, but barely. Due to the horrific nature of PTSD, she will never ever really make it back from that. And she will never truly make, be the same. Now, in most stories, this is where the courageous prince swoops in to save the maiden, and they go on into the sunset forever. But this is not Disney, unfortunately. This is real life. However, even though this warrior is not a princess, though she is quite very pretty, she did need help. The prince who entered goes by the name of Beauregard, a three-year-old German shepherd. Through the help of a generous trainer who donated some of his working hours, to them. Bo was not only a prince, he was also a knight. Bo was trained in tasks to mitigate her PTSD. He alerted her to her anxiety, he alerted her to her panic attacks, oncoming and current. He helped her drive, ride in a car and feel safe. He alerted her for medicine. It wouldn't surprise me if he opened doors and was the second coming of Jesus. Because he's that amazing. He's that knightly. He took it so seriously. His job, that is. That he actually helped out the courageous warriors, lady-in-waiting, when she needed help, too. But like so many stories, this one now takes another turn for the worse. On April 19th, 2016, the courageous young warrior lost her knight, her princely knight. And she now must suffer the horror of PTSD all by herself. She has no one to help her fight her battles anymore. Her battle buddy left her suddenly. Wasn't anything anyone can do. But As you can see, he did his job very, very well. So, the courageous young warrior, princess, Navy veteran, reached out to us, rising from the ashes. We are a nonprofit group primarily located in the Northeast and Mid Atlantic. However, there are satellite groups scattered throughout the nation because we will not ever, ever, never turn away anyone who is in need. And that goes for civilians and for warriors. Our mission is to help both disabled warriors and disabled civilians obtain and train a service dog. Like Bobo. 
to help disabled individuals mitigate their disabilities and live life the best way that they know how. To the best that they know how, even. The mission continues because, unlike many programs, our aim is to do it free of charge to the disabled individual. So that means that they don't have to pay anything for help. We'll help you find a dog. We'll help you with training. We'll help you get a vest. We'll help you graduate our program. In times of crisis, we'll be there for you. Like now, we fight for you. You are not alone. It may seem like you are alone, but I promise you, you're never alone. Not with us, not with us here. The whole reason behind our name is that we believe that after every event, we are born anew, just like the phoenix, the firebird. There is a firebird inside each one of us, just waiting to come out. Even when times are tough, when it seems like we're never going to get there, when there's nothing else that we can do, we have our firebird. We have started a you caring donation link, campaign, link to a campaign for our firebird in distress so that we can help raise the money that we need to help get her another dog, to help offset the cost of her night's passing, to cover her, the charges of her late night, and to help her begin anew. Yes, we are a nonprofit, and yes, we help out all of our people, but we are a new nonprofit. We are fledglings ourselves. We've been around for a while, but we need a little help because our emergency funds are a little lower than we'd like them to be, than we need them to be to help. So we're reaching out to the public for your help. This is the donation link to our site for our help. Please, every little bit helps. A dollar, two dollars, fifty cents, doesn't, it doesn't make any bit of a difference. It only helps that you're helping. And by helping her, by helping us, you're helping her, and you're helping the life of a dog that we save from death. And we retrain. It is our mission to do everything in our power to help the people in our program. But we need reinforcements in this case to continue our fight. So please, help us find a knightly prince worthy for our courageous warrior. The sooner we can do that, the sooner she's not alone anymore. To the Navy, she may be a retired boatswain mate. To others, she could be a stranger. But to us, to rising from the ashes service dogs, her name is Spark. And she is our part of our family. And there is not a damn thing that we do not do for our family here. Not one. We are trying to generate a buzz so loud and so strong it overcomes the negative. It overcomes the negative news stories. It rises to the occasion to be newsworthy, to be put up in the news so that so many people can know that we're doing this, so that we can raise the money for Spark and for her new nightly prints but so that we can help others in need. So others can reach out to us and we can do for them what we're doing for Spark. But we need help. 
Help us generate a buzz. Share this post. Go to our campaign link. If you can, spare a dollar. We'll appreciate that dollar more than anything that we could ever say. If you could give more, we appreciate that too. If you can't give anything, but you can share and you can tag and you can continue to flood the, t the news feed, flood Twitter, flood Instagram, flood Snapchat, flood everything, Pinterest. It has to be unified. It cannot be done alone. We are not an army of one. Birds of a feather flock together, and we have quite a few feathers already. Please, I implore you, if you do nothing else but share this post, use some of these hashtags. Tag Ellen. DeGeneres, tag Oprah, tag The View, tag The Talk, tag Dr. Phil, tag GMA, tag Meredith, tag Kelly and Michael, tag everyone and everything you can think of. Flood their timelines. Make it so that they have to see it. Make it so that it's something that comes, stands out. Something. This wonderful warrior woman fought for our country with courage, with dignity, with bravery. The least we can do now is help her find a knightly prince to get her through her days. We do this for Spark. Help us. Help us, please.